Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the French language workshop. As all of you may know, French is among the top 10 most spoken languages globally, and it is also one of the official languages of the United Nations. That is why with the success of the first French language workshop organized by SIT in January, we have brought to you the second French language workshop that's going to be a little bit more advanced than the first one. So please join me in welcoming Ms. Eloise Christian, who will be our French teacher for today. She's currently in her final semester at Sunway University, pursuing a bachelor's degree in international business. Hi, Ms. Eloise, the virtual platform is now yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let me give, give me a minute to put the slides. Can everyone see it? Yeah, we can see it. It's pretty clear. Awesome. Uh, maybe we could just uh, remove, hide the the pop up at the bottom. Yeah, okay. thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eloise, and I will be your French teacher for today. So the purpose of this workshop will be to give you the basis of uh, French language as well as some tools uh, to use in French in uh, the business setting. So before I start, I have a few workshop rules that I will be sharing with you guys. The first one, please put your camera on. Even though I can't see you, it's just a way for us to, you know, to have uh, some kind of a, a more interactive way of conducting this workshop. I ask you to participate as well as much as you can, just to make sure that everyone, you know, and everyone is not missing the train. Uh, I will also ask you to make some notes because there will be a little exam at the end of this workshop. Please don't be shy to ask questions. That's very important. And finally, have fun. It's a Saturday. So the last thing we want is to have a very dry workshop. So let's make it as fun as possible. All right, let's start. So bonjour, everyone. My name is Eloise, but everybody can call me Elo. I'm 22 years old and I'm from, as you can hear, France. I'm a student at Sewen University and I'm completing a bachelor in international business, like uh, it was said before. So just a little uh, recap about France. So France is a country located in Western Europe, as you can see on the map. France borders Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany to the northeast, and Switzerland, Monaco, and Italy to the east, and finally Andorra and Spain to the south. So I don't know if you can see on the map that I'm sharing with you, but there is a little, um, a little heart shape with the word ANSI next to it. So ANSI is my hometown. So it's located at the French border with Switzerland, as you can see. And that's how it looks like. I'm just gonna ask a question to all of you. Does this city makes you think of another city located in Europe as well? Italy. I can't, I can't see the chat, guys. You have to put your mic on. Oh, one student said Venice. That's right. So Annecy in France is known as to be the little Venice of France. So I highly recommend for you guys to go and visit Annecy because it's absolutely beautiful. So that would be all for the introduction of this workshop and we can start. All right, so first, before I start take, uh, giving you some vocabulary words and expression and all that, I will explain to you why you should learn French. So the first reason is because it's a word language. So as it was said before, more than 300 million people speak French in five continents and French is also the most widely learned a foreign language after English, obviously. Second, a language for the international job market. Why? Because the ability of speaking French and English is an advantage on the international job market. A knowledge of French opens the door of French companies in France, but also other French speaking parts of the world. The third reason is that language, uh, French is a French, sorry, is a language of culture. So French in the international, it's French is the international language for cooking, fashion, theater, visual arts, dance and architecture, and et cetera. So that's, that's why learning French is also a very nice tool to have, whether you are in a business setting or in a party, so you have a better understanding of these concepts. Fourth, it's also a language for travel. So France is one of the top tourist destination and attracts more than eight, uh, 87 million visitors a year. I mean, Paris, 
it's a classic, uh, you know, it's beautiful. Everybody, uh, everybody goes to Paris and I highly recommend you guys to go to Paris. It's absolutely awesome. And the ability to speak even a little French makes it so much more enjoyable to visit Paris and the region of France. And it also comes in handy when traveling to French speaking part of the world. And finally, French, French is a language for learning other languages, and that's maybe the most important point here. So French is a good base for learning other languages, especially Romance languages, such as Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and Romanian, as well as English, because in this workshop, you will probably realize that there is a significant percentage of English vocabulary, which is derived from French, from French and you will discover that in a minute. All right, so what are you going to learn today? So first I will give you some formal greetings that are very important to know in French. Then I will teach you the numbers and the money. A little heads up here. The numbers will be the hardest part, the hardest part of this workshop. So I will ask you to be super, super uh, attentive when it comes to that uh, chapter of the workshop. Then I will teach you the directions, the cultural related phrases and phrases to avoid in French, business related words and their use, and finally, business conversation practice and to sum up a little quiz, just to make sure that you have been following perfectly this workshop. All right, so formal greetings, which is in French, formule de politesse, bienvenue, which is welcome, bonjour, hello, and comment allez-vous, which is how are you? So these three, uh, these three uh, greetings are most likely the basis, but the most important that you should know, in particular in a business setting. If you enter a meeting, a meeting room, the first thing that you will say is, welcome, hello, how are you? That is why I will ask you to take note of this or take a screenshot, because once I will be probably asking, uh, asking about this later in the exam, and it's really the basic and the most important thing you need to know in French. So I'm just gonna repeat it. Bienvenue, bonjour. Et comment allez-vous? You have two uh, possibilities. One uh, is asking you, or if you ask someone, comment allez-vous? You can either say, I'm not good, je ne vais pas bien, or you might as well say, I'm good, thank you, which is, je vais bien, merci. So if I ask to all of you, how, comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? Comment allez-vous? Uh, how are you today? I'm sure that all of you will be responding to me, je vais bien. Merci. The, anyone wants to put the mics on and uh, respond to me? Comment allez-vous? Anyone wants to give it a try? Hello? Hello? Hi. Uh, you want to give it a try? Yes, uh, I would like. Okay. What's your name? Ernesto. Ernesto. Okay. So, Ernesto, comment allez-vous? Je vais bien, merci. Très bien. Very good. All right, congratulations. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. All right, so this slide is more of, uh, I'm just throwing you a lot of vocabulary words that are very important to know as well. I will say it out loud, and if you want, you can write down uh, all of them or just take a screenshot. All right, so madame in English is the same in French, so it's madame. Sir is monsieur, miss, is mademoiselle. Good morning is bonjour. Good evening is bonsoir. Good night is bonne nuit. And good afternoon is bon après midi. So similarly with English or even Bahasa and, so, and many, many other languages, you have different ways to say hello according to the time of the day. So that's quite important to understand as well. All right, so nice to meet you. Enchanté. So I will ask you, oh, you, you, you probably don't know that, but do you have any idea why I put the E in between brackets here? If you don't know, it's all right. I can give you the answer. So French, uh, like many other languages uh, in Europe and uh, outside Europe, have gender. There is feminine and masculine word. And the word, the way you construct the word will be highly affected by that. So for example, if you are a girl, if you are a lady and you say, nice to meet you, you say, enchanté, you will have to put an E at the end when writing it down. So for example, I'm a girl, I will put an E at the end when I say enchanté. If Ernesto is saying enchanté, 
he is a man, so he won't have to put the e at the end. So that's a little thing to keep in mind. Please is s'il vous plaît. Thank you is merci. You are welcome. Je vous en prie. So here, if you listen to the way I pronounce the sentence, de vous, je vous en prie, you can hear that I'm saying je vous en prie. The reason why is because when you have an S at the end of the vous, it creates the linkage between the vous and the en. So that's why you don't say je vous en prie, you say je vous en prie. Just a little side note. And finally, you have see you soon, which is à bientôt. Can I go to the next slide? Have you all made your notes uh, or take a screenshot? You can use your mic to let me know. Yes, you may yes, yes, you can move It's all forward. good? All right, awesome. Yes. All right, so before we start the more, uh, more in-depth, so we, I will give you the similarities and the difference between French and English. So there is one main similarities which will be very easy for you, which is a very good news for you guys, which is that the alphabets are the same. So that's very good news when learning French. However, there are a few differences, such as the pronunciation is different, and you probably noticed it when I was telling the word earlier. There are accents. Maybe you've catch a few accents uh, on the different sentences and words I gave you earlier. And these accents, which are over the vowels, are used to change their sound. It's a little bit like Chinese. I mean, I, I don't know much about Chinese. I took maybe one lesson of Mandarin a long time ago, but I remember you have different tone, different tone of voice uh, when saying a word. It's, it's the exact same thing in French. When you have an accent, it will change the entire, the entire uh, sound of the, of the word or the, of the letter it sounds. But I will go a little bit more in depth on that later. And the formal and informal way of speaking. So I will be talking about, about that later because it's maybe one of the most important things to, to keep in mind when you are in a business setting and you are speaking French. But long story short, the tu and vous, it's the you in English. You know, the second person of the singular and the second person of the plural in English. You just have the you. However, in French, we make a difference between the tu and the vous. But don't worry about it. I will go in depth later. And finally, as I said earlier, the gender of the words, it's very, it's very, it's the biggest difference with English, most likely. You have feminine and masculine. So, and that will impact uh, both the, it will impact the way you construct your sentence and also the way you construct your words. All right. So let's learn the alphabet. And so you have a better understanding of how different also in terms of alphabets, uh, the French alphabet sounds as compared to the English one. All right, so I'm gonna say it one by one. And I also found this little picture. So in terms of, uh, in terms of sounds, you can, you can follow more or less how you say it. So first you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, E. So here is very, very complicated for a French person, for example, because your E in English is your I. Uh, sorry, the E in English is your I in French. So it's very, it's very, very confusing when learning English. And I had a very hard time at the beginning about that. Then you have the Le J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. And that, that's probably the most challenging part of this alphabet is the R, which is not, not everyone can, can get this. And even if you don't, it's okay. Maybe you can say R. Air, something like this, if it's too complicated to say it. Then you have S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, which means Greek, uh, Greek I. I don't know why, but that's how you say it. Y and Z. And one more thing, you probably heard it, but your G and your J in English is reversed in French. So your G would be 
j and your j will be g so that's something to remember so i know it sounds very confusing but the more you practice the more you will get it so i will it's your turn now to try how to say the alphabet in french i will maybe ask three uh, or maybe four, maybe four volunteer to try to say this alphabet. One person will do from A to G, one person will do for J, uh, H to N, etc., etc. Who wants to try from A to G? I can try. Yeah, sure. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G. Wow. Congratulations. That's very good. I'm very impressed. Who, who are you? Sorry, I don't know who is speaking. I'm Nidhi. I speak French, actually. That's why. Ah, OK, OK. I was wondering. Wow, that's very impressive. <laughs> OK, so can a non-French speaker try to do H to N, for example? Anyone? Don't be shy. It's all right. We're here to learn. Can I try? Yes, of course. It's pretty tough, man. OK, but it's like hush. Ash. Yes. <laughs> Sorry if I missed No, no, no. Uh, Ash. Ash, yeah, you're right. E. Yes. E. Yes. Uh, J. J. K. J. Yeah, J. Okay. Then J. Yeah. Okay, then uh, is, is, is it K? K. Yeah. K. Okay, the R is silent. Okay. K. All right. Then L. Yes. Uh, M. Yes. Uh, N. Very good. Très, très bien. Who are you? What's your name? Oh, uh, Tosif. Tosif. Nice to meet you. Very good, Tosif. Excellent job. Yes. Someone wants to try from O to U? Don't be shy. I, I want to try. Wanna okay. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> so, O. Oui. P. 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 Q. Q. R. <laughs> R. R. Yeah. Very good. F. Oui. T. T. U. T. U. T. U. U. <laughs> very good. Yeah, the U is not that easy as well. All right, thank you very much. Um, someone wants to try from V to Z. I know it looks very complicated, but it's not that hard. So if a brave person wants to try from V to Z, it would be awesome. Maybe Chiara wants to try. What? Uh, hi, I would like to try. Is it yes, right? please, please. Of yeah. course. Okay, so, okay, V. Yes. Bave. W. W. Yes. X. Yes. Y. Very good. Z. Oh, bravo. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very proud of you guys. You are excellent students. All right. We can go to the next one. Okay. So I know it looks very scary, and I'm not going to lie. The numbers are probably the most complicated when it comes to French. You will understand why in a minute. All right, I'm just going to put this here, but don't worry, I will go one by one with you. All right, such so just a little heads up. I don't think I can teach you after 70 because one, it's really, really, really complicated. And I think that after, uh, by the time we reach 70, your brain is going to be <laughs> busted. But uh, We'll go one by one and then we'll see how you feel comfortable and maybe we'll go further depending on you guys. All right, so you have un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. All right, that's numbers from one to ten. Does anyone want to try to say it? That's how you learn. The more you try, the more you will remember and the more you feel comfortable. So I highly recommend uh, participating here.
Uh, okay, I would like to try. Is that alright? Alright, please, please. Okay, so un, un, deux, un, deux, trois, trois, yeah, trois. Okay, quatre, 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 quatre. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cinq, cinq, cinq. Okay, cinq. Yes. Six. Yes, six. Six. Seven. Very good. Huit. Very, very good. Neuf. Yes. Dix. This. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Let's go a little bit further. So then you have onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize. And I'm going to stop here because from 17 to 19, it's slightly different. So maybe we can try to do a little game here and look at 17. And the way it's the way the, the word is done, you have this set. Can anyone look at uh, uh, with the previous numbers and tell me what is this and what is set? Say it out loud. 10 and 7. Correct. So that's why it's a little bit weird, I'd say, the way it's uh, the way the, the number is contrast, uh, contrast, uh, constructed here. Sorry. You said this set. 10 and 7. So this set, same goes with this 8, which is 10 and 8. And then this 9. So here is the little difference. And then you have 20. Can someone try, for example, from 11 to, to, to 20, for example? Chiara? Wenli? You want to try? Hi, hello. I'll try what again. Sorry, I got disconnected. You want to try from uh, 11 to 20? Sure. <laughs> Is it onze or ons? <laughs> ons. <laughs> ons, dos, tres. Yes. Quatos. 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 Quins. Uh, Quins. Sains. Yes. And sains? Says. Says. Dixep. Very good. Dixuit. Dixuit. This week, yes. This new, yes. So the X X like something like a Z, is it? It's like a S at the end. This. Oh, so it's yeah. not very pronounced. Uh. It's not very pronounced. I see. I see. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation, Kiara. No problem. Um. All right. So then you have vingt, which is twenty, and then one particularity, as we can see on the bottom left, twenty-one is constructed like that, 20 et 1, which is the A is and or plus in French. And that goes only for 21. So then the, the way you construct it is just as usual, 22, 23, etc. So 20 et 1, and then 22, for example. So you don't have to add the A in the middle, it's just for 21. Same goes for 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, and it's not, and for 81, for example, you don't have to put the A. So you can make note on that. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but for 81, you don't have to put the A. All right. And same goes for 91. You don't have to put the A. So basically, from 21 to, se to 71, you have to put the end between, um, between the, you have to put the end in the middle. And from 80 to 90, you don't have to put the end in the middle. All right. The, did every uh, all of you understood this uh, this rule about the A? Yes, Miss. Awesome. Okay. So now that you have the basic, I'm just gonna teach you how to say 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Maybe 90 if it's not too much. All right. So 30 is 30. 40 is 40. 50 is 50, 60 is 60, and then 70, you can see it on the bottom. It's constructed a little bit like 17, uh, it's the same concept. Basically, it's 60 and 10, 60, this. And then for 71, because it's 60, it's because it's 60 and 10, 
71 would be 60 and 11. So you have 60 and 11. You can just follow the numbers that you have on the picture, for example. You have for 71, 71. Then for 72, 72. Can someone tell me what's 73? Very good. Anyone else wants to tell me what's 74? So a song, quatre. Quatorze? Yeah. Very good. And can someone tell me what is 76? Uh, Soixante seize, yeah, very good. And now, a little bit more complicated. Can someone tell me what is seventy nine? Just try. It doesn't hurt to try. Uh, can I try? Yes, of course, please. But can you remind me what was nine again? Is it ne? Neuf, yeah. Okay. Sasant and and nef. 60 and 9 60 60 19 because oh, the way you okay 19 yeah 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 if it was 69 it would be 69 like you said oh okay okay 79 you have to do the 19 it's 70 plus 19 so 60 19 but very good try Thank very you. Good. all right okay so now 80 Oh, once again, it's a little bit weird. It's 80. And 80 literally means cat for 20. So 80, which is it's correct, 4 times 20 in 80. And because actually, apparently, French people like to make it even more complicated. They are like, no, let's not make it 80. Let's make it for 20. Might as well, isn't it? <laughs> so for 80, you have 80. And then it's same as usual, 82. 83, etc. And even more complicated for 90, you have 90. Same concept as 70, but you, you just use the 80 plus 10. So you have for 90, you have 80, which is 80, and this, which is 10. And then it goes as previously, 91, which is 80 plus 11, then 92, which is 80 plus 12. Can someone try and tell me what is 94? I know it's a little bit challenging. I know it's a lot to take in. Uh, Anyone? I... Yes, of course, please. 94. 94, yeah. 94. I asked 93, but 94 also works. You understood the concept. <laughs> okay, very good. Can someone tell me what is 95? Is it Cartas von Ruins? Counts. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. And now, the last question for today's lesson What is 97? Um, is it Quatra Vin? 97, is it Quatra Vin? Quatra Vin? It's a uh, lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of words. I told you it's very complicated. Good job, guys. Thank we you. just made through the hardest lights of the day. So just for your information, 100 is 100, you don't say the T at the end. 200 is 200 with an S at the end of uh, 100 because it's 200, it's the same as English. And then 1000 is 1000. So I'm not going to ask you any more questions on the numbers because I think we've, we've been through a lot already. I will just, just make note of that, take a picture if you need to. And when you are ready, I will go to the next slide. Just let me know.
Uh, you may proceed to the next slide. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. So a little practice exercise uh, about the number, uh, the number of slides previously. So I'm just going to ask you, what's the date today? Quelle est la date d'aujourd'hui? What is the date today in French? So can anyone tell me what is the, di the, the date of today using the number? So can anyone tell me in English what's the, di the date today? 24. That's right. So maybe someone can try to tell me what's the date of today by saying aujourd'hui, nous sommes le, which means today, we are the, and then tell me the number in French. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Uh... Uh, 24. 24. Yeah, 24. 24. Right. 24. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can try to say the the sentences all together. Okay. Uh, 24. 24. Aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui, at the bottom of the slide, you have the sentence that you have to complete. Oh, aujourd'hui, yes. nous sommes les Live the quarters over 2021. <laughs> Le 24. Quarters, Le... right? No, no. 24 is 24. It's not 20... 14. It's oh, 24. Yes. Avril. Okay. And maybe you can try to say instead of 2021, you can try to tell me 2021 in French. Oh, my. Okay, uh, when, when, and on. Vin. Vin and on. Vin and on. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, Malik. Malik. Nice to meet you. Very good job, Malik. Excellent. All right. All right. So now that the hardest part is done, let's speak about money or money in French. So like most of you already know, France is a member of the, Europe, the European Union and one of the 23 country, uh, countries in the region that uses the euro as its national currency. So there are seven notes in circulation available in denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, which is very rare, and 500, which is even more rare. For example, in my life, I've never seen a note of 200 and 500. So you have an understanding of how rare it is. Even a hundred is pretty weird, to be fair. And there are also eight counts in circulation in the denomination of one and two euros. And then you have two, five, 10, 20, and 50 cents. I don't think I have to spend, some, to spend more time over here. Uh, you, got, you got the idea about the money. All right, let's do something a little bit more fun. Let's talk about direction. So you are somewhere in Paris or one of uh, one of the French uh, one of the French lands uh, somewhere, and you have to ask for the direction, or someone is asking you the direction to go somewhere. So it's pretty important to know that as well in French. Um, so I know it looks very dry. I'm just going to tell you one by one how to say these words, and maybe you can take a screenshot of it because there will be a little game after these slides. So. Direction or direction, it's written the same way. So à droite, which is on the right, as you can see, there is an accent over here, which doesn't, uh, which technically, uh, it's, it doesn't sense the sound, but it's important to put the accent. À gauche, which is on the left, derrière, so you see the accent on the E. The E in French is E, but because of this accent, the sound of the E would be E. That's why you say derrière, which is behind in English. Loin de, far from, dans, which is in, entre, between, devant, in front of, sur, on, près de, near, same as uh, derrière, the, the E will make the sound of the word sound different. À côté de, same thing, uh, the accent makes it sound different, sorry, which is besides, sous, under, tout droit, all the way straight, première à droite, 
or à gauche, first on your right or on your left, deuxième à droite ou à gauche, second on your right or left, and then troisième à droite or à gauche, which is third on your right or left. You don't have to remember that straight away right now. Just take a screenshot so we can play the game next. Let me know when you are done. Got it. Got it? All right. All right, let's practice. So you have a map right here. There is, so just one thing, don't, uh, do you see the runabout? Just ignore it. Just ignore it. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about that. I will ask one person to tell me how can I reach the cars, which is voiture, voiture in French. Can someone tell me how I can go to the car, starting from the red star? On tourne à gauche. On tourne à gauche. Yeah, very good. And maybe you can tell me what it's next to. Uh, how, you do, mean? how do you say next to the stadium, for example? À côté du stade. À côté du stadium. Very good. Someone else wants to try to go to the train, which is more or less in the middle of the picture, the rainbow train over there. Can someone tell me how to find my way to the train? Anyone wants to try based on the words I gave you earlier? Uh, hi, is hi. it to, to draw and yes. then uh, female uh, is it? Yeah, you can say that or you can even say from where you are, deuxième à droite. And maybe you can tell me next to the bank in French. Oh. All right, all right, I understand. You have the word. Uh, what's the question, may I know? Uh, just give me direction when starting from the red star. Yeah. How to get to the train. Oh, okay. Which is the rainbow train. Can we say all the way straight? You can say, if you say all the way straight, then you will be after the church. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure the person would be very uh, helped in that situation. <laughs> Let me find the answer. <laughs> okay. Let's give you a little hint. You have it at the uh, on the bottom right of the picture I gave you previously. Bottom right, okay. Is it a premier... Deuxième. It's not the first on the right, it's the second on the right. Oh, second on the right. So it's Deuxième. 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 À droite. Sorry? À droite. À droite. Yes. Ah, okay. And can you say, for example, next to the bank? Next to. Uh, oh, is next. it beside? Yes, à yes. Côté, uh, côté de la banque. Eh, got you. Left, right? On the left. On the left is gauche. Gauche. Oh. Left, uh, gauche, the bank. <laughs> <laughs> très bien, très bien. Very good. Yeah, you can say à côté de la banque. Or the bank. À côté de la banque. Very oh. good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And last. Uh, the last question would be, can someone bring me or tell me where to go if I want to head to the church? Uh, can I try? Yes, yeah, sure, please. Troisième uh, à gauche, yeah. Troisième uh, à gauche. And maybe you can tell me it, it's beside the beach. The beach in French is plage. Uh, splash. 
à côté de à côté de la plage à côté splash is it like that de la plage it's plage in the beach a splash okay it's so hard okay. <laughs> sorry <laughs> but you did a very good job though so it's troisième à gauche and à côté de la plage all right is everyone good with that can i move on to the next chapter yes okay. all right catch related phrases to avoid so when you are starting english often tend to speak directly from our own language or from english for example and we assume that we communicate what we are trying to communicate the, the way we attend to However, the problem is that if you are not careful, you might end up making a faux pas, which we call a faux pas in, in French is more like you might be misunderstood uh, in what you're trying, the message you're trying to convey. So that's why I'm going to tell you what you absolutely, ha absolutely have to avoid when speaking French. So for example, you are, you are in France and you are trying to translate directly using Google, uh, Google Translate, for example. These are the phrases that might come out of, uh, with Google translation, Google translation and that you absolutely cannot say out loud, in particular in a business set setting. You will understand why in a second. So the first one, and I've said it previously, don't use the tu, which is the first person of singular you, when you should use vous which is the, uh, the, first, uh, the first person of the plural. Why? Because in French, the word tu and vous both means you. In English, the word you can be used to address any person or any number of person, whatever the age, the social status, etc. However, in French, the word you used for, use for you depends on the person being addressed. So, for example, the tu, which is the first uh, person singular you, can be used in an informal setting. The vous, which is the uh, plural, can be used only in a formal setting. So there are a few exceptions on how tu and vous are used. But in general, the tu is used for talking to children and friends, so informal setting. And the vous is for talking to adults in a formal setting, for example, your colleagues, your boss, your teacher, or for example, stranger. So for example, if you are on the street in France and you're speaking to a stranger, would you use the tu or the vous? The vous. Very good. And if you are talking to your bestie, do you use the tu or the vous in French? The tu. That's right, because the problem is that if you use the, f the familiar form in the wrong situation, you'll be perceived as uneducated first, but also in worst cases, your listener may even see you as, you, you could even see it as an insult. And let's say if you are in a business setting and you are saying to, to the person that you're talking to, let's say it's a client or it's your boss, they will be, it's like calling him dude. You know, it's really, really, really informal and absolutely disrespectful. You really want to avoid that. So that's something to keep in mind. Don't use bonne nuit to say goodbye. Because, so, let's put it into context. It's the end of, a, it's the end of an evening out with your friends and you want to say goodbye, good night. Even though bonne nuit, bonne nuit means good night, literally. Unless you want to make a point of the fact that you are going straight to bed, it's better to use bonsoir. Typically, when you say bonne nuit is when you are literally about to, to sleep. You are in your bed already and you say bonne nuit to your family, to, to the person next to you. You say just bonne nuit, you're going to sleep. But you, don't, you, you shouldn't say bonne nuit in another setting than that. So if you are saying bye, like bye bye, goodbye to your friends after a night out, you say bonsoir, not bonne nuit. All right, just a little thing to keep in mind. Very important. Don't say, je suis excité. Just a little question. Why did I put the E in bracket right here? Does anyone remember that rule? Uh, based on gender, right? Yeah, based on gender, correct. So because, for example, if it's me speaking and I say, je suis excité, because I'm a girl, I will put the E at the end. If you're a man, you don't, have, you don't need the E. So it really depends on the gender you are. So please don't say je suis excité when you are excited because 
If you're excited about something, don't say je suis excité. Je, sorry, let me say it a bit more slower. Je suis excité, which literally, literally means I'm excited sexually. So you can only imagine if you are in a business setting and you are like, oh, I'm really excited about this new contract that we just signed together. Don't say that. I mean, don't say je suis excité because they might not uh, perceive it the way you want it to. So there is an equivalent phrase in French uh, for I'm excited. But you can convey the same, uh, which can convey the same sentiment by saying, j'ai hâte de, which is, I look forward to, j'ai hâte de, all right. Or you can also say, je suis très heureux, or heureuse, similar as the bracket and the E, heureux with E-U-E-X at the end is for men, and E-U-S-E at the end is for women. So it really depends the gender you, you are. Uh, for I'm very happy. Clear on that? Yes, pretty clear. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because most of my most of the people I know who have learned French, everybody did this mistake because it's something you say all the time. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about that. But that's really something to avoid. Um, and don't say je suis chaud or chaud froid or froid, depending if you're a girl or a guy, when you are hot or cold. So similarly to the previous phrase, phrases on being excited, saying je, je suis chaud means I'm hot, or je suis froid, which means I'm cold, actually means that you are in heat or you are fragile. You don't want that to happen in a business setting. So avoid that. And instead, for example, if you're feeling hot, then replace the verb to, uh, to be by to have and say, j'ai chaud, instead of je suis chaud. Because je suis is I am, is the verb to be. And for it not to sound too wrong, not to sound in heat or fragile, fragile or whatever, you need to use the, ver the verb to have, which is j'ai chaud, or j'ai froid, depending on what you're trying to, to convey. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. Ah, yeah. Typical mistake as well. Don't use the je suis, 20, je suis uh, 22 ans, for example. Je suis 22 ans to tell your age. Because if someone asks you your age, don't translate literally from the English and say je suis 30 ans, which is literally I'm 30 years old in English. But it doesn't work in French. You need to change the verb. Instead, you must use the verb to be, similarly as, previous, as previously said. Don't, uh, sorry, you must use the verb to have because the French say j'ai 30 ans, not je suis 30 ans, which is to be. You say j'ai 30 ans, which is to have uh, 30 years old. I, I have 30 years old, uh, which literally, is, literally means I have 30 years old. Yeah. Uh, are you guys okay with that? Can I move on? Yes. You, mean. you want to take a picture? Done. Okay, awesome. Let's move on to the last one. Don't use the verb visiter, which is to visit, in reference to people. So the verb visiter, to visit, is used for places and monuments. In other words, for sightseeing, not for people. So you probably don't plan to walk around your friends or your aunt in, or your aunt in the same way that you walk around a monument, right? So instead, say, je vais voir Paul. I'm going to see Paul. Don't say, je vais visiter Paul. I'm going to visit Paul because it means that he's living probably in the Eiffel Tower or something, which is not the case. Like you're not going to look around, you know, uh, sightseeing uh, in his own place. So don't use visit uh, to visit. You say, I'm going to see someone. Je vais voir someone. All right. Let me know when you're done taking picture of making notes and uh, we can move on to the next chapter. Yep, you can move on. Okay. All right. Some business related words and their use. So I know it looks super scary like that. I'm going to be very brief. This is just for you to have some, I mean, the most, uh, the most important business, uh, business vocabulary knowledge. Um, so I'm just going to say it one by one and I let you just take a picture of it just for your own, just for your own knowledge in case 
you know, you, you need the vocabulary words and you, you need to speak French for some reason, just at least you have it. So a company is une société, which is also a society. And in French, we use society and company. We use the same word, which is a society. Then the business trip is le voyage d'affaires. The client, similarly to English, is le client. Okay, pardon, le client, pardon, sorry. Then the buyer is l'acheteur. The seller is le vendeur. Partner, l'associé. Profit, le bénéfice. The assets, les biens. The meeting, la réunion. Sales or turnover, le chiffre d'affaires. Competitor, competitor, le concurrent, to set up a business, créer une entreprise, to go bankrupt, faire faillite, fees, les frais, taxes, l'impôt, and finally training is la formation. You don't have to remember this by today, you don't have to memorize them, I just want you to have this very important words when it comes to um, when it comes to business conversation in French. Uh, let me know when you're done taking pictures so we can I can show you a video after this. Uh, Dan, you may proceed. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to show you this video because you know it's a Saturday. We don't want like a, a lecture style kind of. Uh, uh, workshop. So maybe if I show you this YouTube video, you will have. Can you see? Can you hear properly? Uh, yes, it's pretty clear. Okay, awesome. Anyone hungry? Hi everybody, Candice here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, while I answer your most common French questions. The question for this lesson is, what are some French business expressions? Many French business expressions can also be used in casual settings. So it's good to know these standard phrases so you can communicate in both types of situations. In this lesson, we will go over some basic business expressions that you can use in French. Je m'excuse du retard, which means I am sorry for being late. It's a very useful phrase. You can use this for whatever reason. You can manage to be on time for a meeting or just come in late to the office. You can also say, désolé pour le retard which means the same thing, but it's a little more casual. If you're asked to write a report and want to know when it's due, you can ask, quand dois-je rendre le rapport? Which literally means, when should I give the report? If you are a little busy at work and want to let your coworkers know, you can use this phrase, je suis en train d'organiser un rendez-vous. Être en train de means, to be in the middle of something. So the example, je suis en train d'organiser un rendez-vous, means I'm in the middle of organizing a meeting. Se rendre compte is another great idiom to use in business. It literally means realize or be aware. Let's go over how to use it. For example, if your team has a lot of work to do, but you will be out of town the next week. You can say, rendez-vous compte que je suis en vacances la semaine prochaine, which means take into consideration that I'm on vacation next week. If your boss needs something urgently and you have just finished your work, you can use the phrase venir de, which literally means to come from. It's also an expression that means just now, if you want to say, I just finished my project, you can say, je viens de finir mon projet. When everything is finished, you can use the phrase, c'est un plaisir de collaborer avec vous, which means it's a pleasure doing business with you. You can also use travailler, which means 
work instead of collaborate. With travailler, the phrase would be, c'est un plaisir de travailler avec vous, which means, it's a pleasure working with you. And that's it. I hope these phrases get... All right. I know it's, they actually, they are quite complicated expression, but uh, it's important to know. I hope that you took um, pictures. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Can you see properly? Uh, yes, we can see. Okay. All right. So now um, I am done for all the all the thing I wanted to teach for today, and I will try. We can try now to put everything into practice. So here is an example. It's a template that you can all use after this. So, bonjour. My name is Eloise Kramer. I'm 22 years old. I'm from France, etc., etc. If you literally translate it to French, it's a, it, you can say, Bonjour, je m'appelle Elo, or Eloise Kremer, je m'appelle is, my name is. It's literally translated from the previous, uh, the previous paragraph. J'ai 22 ans. Je viens de, I'm from France. Je suis une étudiante à l'université de Sunway et je fais des études de commerce international. So you can take a picture of this, and after this, we're going to do a little practice to try to put it to practice everything that we've learned today, or at least a few, a few um, things. Let me know when you're done taking pictures, and we can do a little, a little game after this. Done, yeah, you may move on. All right. Thank you. Okay, let me just stop sharing the screen. All right, can you all put uh, put on your camera so we can all see each other and, uh, and try to have a, a little talk or at least. Um, My sister is here. Hi, Adele. <laughs> She'll probably be a better teacher than I am. It's OK. Hi, everyone. Hi, Chiara. Hi. Yeah, hi, hi Amisto. <laughs> OK. Uh, if you guys cannot uh, switch on your camera, it's fine. We can just move on. Ah, my father is here, too. Hi, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, me fais pas honte, s'il te plaît. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put a whiteboard, and based on what I shared, uh, the template I gave you just now, I will ask you to write down your introduction. Uh, I don't know how to put a whiteboard. How can I put a whiteboard? Sorry, um, what's your name? Can you see the three dots at the top? Uh, sorry, at the bottom yeah. right corner. When you click I, on it, you will see a whiteboard. The very first option is whiteboard. Yeah, but then when I click on it, it says mm -hmm. that I have someone needs to access to a file. It says, I don't know why. Uh, we I try. Oh, when you open it, you will see the option start a new whiteboard. Yeah, when I click on it, it just tells me that someone wants oh, to. Oh, we have to access. Can you, yeah, can you um, maybe? Yeah. Okay, um, let me try. Thank you. Oh, it says access denied. I think it's from your Gmail, that's why. Um, uh, maybe I can try to share from my side and see? Yeah, yeah, please, please do that. Okay, I try to share. 
everyone can brainstorm meanwhile <laughs> based on what I shared earlier. Uh, can you see my whiteboard? Uh, not yet. Mm. Oh, okay, so um, I think you have to click on the link that you send. You access it, and then you share your screen from there. Okay, okay, okay. But because I need everyone to to contribute, you know, like to put their own input. Oh. If I share it, let's mm -hmm. see. I think I, I, I think I can only share it through email, so it won't work. Okay, never mind. We can do something else instead. You can just type on the chat box your introduction. I'll give you 10 minutes. And uh, I mean, all of you, if you can do it, it would be great. If you don't feel comfortable, you can just put half of it. And when it comes to telling your name, I'll ask you to write it down in letters, not in numbers, to make it a little bit more exciting. Uh, thank you, Chiara. See you soon. Enchanté, to see. <laughs> <laughs> First level pass. <laughs> First level pass, yes. <laughs> Très bien, very good. Bonjour, Kevin, enchanté. Maybe you can copy paste most of the things that I wrote in my own uh, in my own uh, introduction and change it with your with your information, like with your with your age, for example. You can try to put your age on the chat. That would be a great exercise. What Take your 21? time. What? What's 21? Wind on os. Ons. Os. I forgot how to spell. <laughs> you want, uh, wait. Mm. What, what do you want to? 21. So it's be like, hey, hey, hi, wind. Do 22, right? 21. Right? 21. It's One. not, 11 is 11. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so 21 is 20 et 1. Let me just write it down for you so you can. Okay. I think same is need right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You can put j'ai 21 ans, Abdul. You can put en at the end. Okay. I'll copy. I'll copy. <laughs> Okay, wait, guys, I need you can to... just copy paste mine. <laughs> yeah, I just copy paste hers. All right. Uh, Enchanté, Abdul. Je m'appelle Iman. Enchanté, Iman. Emery. Emery, right? Is that how you spell your name? Emery? Um, bonjour, je m'appelle Nidhi Kasserane. J'ai 21 ans. Je viens du Boris. I can tell that your French is pretty fluent. It was not so much of a challenge here. <laughs> uh, bonjour, je m'appelle. J'ai 21 ans. Je viens de Malaysia. Very good. I'm very impressed. But Malaysia in French is. Ma... But that you can know. If you guys need to. For me to spell your country names, I also can because it's different spelling from <laughs> French to English. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun, isn't it? Um, okay, j'ai 19 ans. Very good, Emery. Je m'a bonjour, belle personne. All right, very good. I'm not sure I taught you that, but that works too. <laughs> uh, I like it. All right, Chia, bonjour. Je m'appelle Kekcha T. I probably didn't spell it right, but I did my best. J'ai 24 ans. Very good. Je viens de Malaisie. So I, I copy past uh, Malaysia is Malaisie in French. J'ai 21 ans. Je viens de Lille, Kenya. You're from Kenya, uh, to save. Yes. <laughs> but I don't know French. <laughs> no, it's good. But why from the island of Kenya? Uh, I'm from Kostya, Mombasa. Oh, okay. Very good. Je viens de Everybody knows Mombasa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Je viens de 
you can say, je viens d'une île au Kenya. Oh, it's same in my French, right? Kenya. So Kenya, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> j'ai 20. Iman, you have to say, j'ai 20 ans, years old. Je viens de Malaisie. Très bien. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ernesto, j'ai 20 ans, je viens de Costa Rica. Very good. Bonjour, je m'appelle Adèle, j'ai 20 ans, je viens de France. Bravo for the French lesson, you're the best. Guys, I think my sister is very proud of you. Je viens de Nigeria. Uh, Niger, we say in French. It's a very international uh, class, I love it. Very diverse. <laughs> very diverse, exactly. Awesome. Anyone who hasn't uh, write down there, I think everyone did, right? Uh, let me look at the who hasn't. May, May Sam? I haven't seen your Sabrina. Maybe you can try. Take your time. I'll give you maybe two more minutes to write on and you don't have to. It's not an obligation if you don't feel comfortable yet. Uh, what else can you say? Maybe you can say, so I shared with you earlier, I'm a student at Sunway University. Did all of you take a picture of that slide? Yes. You can try to copy paste it and put your own information. Just try. Uh, here, I think mostly Wait. are international business students, so they just copy it. Yeah, just copy it. At yeah. least you can you can practice a little bit. Yeah. So hard, man, French. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not an easy language. But oh it's like God. everything at the end of the day, it's all about practice. It's a soft language. I don't know if you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> These letters are not in my laptop. <laughs> Which letter? It A with the, the, Oh, the you don't have to put the accent because I also don't have it. I had to copy no. it to Google actually. <laughs> Maybe Adele, you can put uh, you can put what I, I put in the previous slides. C'est je suis étudiante, j'étudie uh, commerce international. Maybe you can write it down for them to have an idea of how to. Or also I can share again, let me share again my screen to have a look at the last slide. So you can say, je suis une or un. If you are a guy, you have to say un, not une, because une, I'm a girl, so I put une. Étudiante, if you're a guy, you remove the E. À l'université de Sunway, or you can also say à Kuala Lumpur, if you just rather put the, uh, rather put the, the city. And then you just copy paste it. If you fair, if you do like uh, international business studies, or if you do other studies, you can also try to find the word on um, on Google Translate and uh, try to put it on the chat. And if you make a mistake, I can just uh, rectify it. Let me know when you've all taken a picture of this, so I can come back to the chat. Otherwise, I cannot reply. Uh, yes, I took the photo. All of you took the picture, guys. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Je suis... Okay, to see if, because you are, I presume you are a guy, so <laughs> I'm not sure you don't need une. You can just put un. So re you, re remove, sorry, you remove the E at une and at étudiante. So je suis un étudiant without the E. It means you and, is it? Just you and. Yeah, just you and. And without the E, a étudiant. Okay. Let me try. Okay. Je suis un étudiant à l'Université de Sunway et je fais des études de entrepreneurship. Very good. Just entrepreneuriat. What else do I change? Just U N N. U N. That's it. And then, so yeah, is... like, like Emery did. 
and then entrepreneuriat. Ok, super good, Emery, very good. Bonjour, je m'appelle Maysan, je viens du Pakistan, very good, je suis un étudiant à l'Université de Sunway. Absolutely perfect. And then, je suis un étudiant, uh, to see if remove the E à étudiant. Étudiant, which E, yeah. there are so many. À <laughs> uh, uh, étudiant. Ok, so the B, the Yes, okay. yes. À l'université, je fais des études de commerce et tout ok. Enchanté, very good. But uh, Pang, you are, uh, you, are, you are male or female? You are female, right? Yes. So you have to be enchanté with double E. Oh, double E. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Je suis une étudiante à l'université de Sunway, je fais des études de commerce international. Perfect. Anyone wants to give you a try? Anyone else? Maybe, uh, who else? Um, Ernesto, you want to give it a try, or uh, who else haven't tried yet? Chia, try to make like a longer sentences. If not, you don't have to. I just we just do that for two more minutes, and then we can do the quiz together. Je suis en étude. Parfait. Very good. Très bien. All right, two more minutes, guys, to write down your sentences. What are your plans for the weekend? You can just chit chat while uh, the, the others are writing down their sentences. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing planned? Quite risky. Are you in like Malaysia? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, you heard, right, the recent spike in the cases, so... Yes, but <laughs> that is not stopping me from going outside, I have to say. Quite risky, man. Plus, it's Ramadan, so, yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, super good, Shia. Comment est la vie en France? Emery, uh, can you, do you speak French fluently? fluently? Mm -hmm. Who is Emery? I don't see. I don't see you on the Henry. Not really. Not really. I think she's quite good already. Yeah. Do you speak French fluently? She said not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> so, which France are you located at? Where do you live at France? Uh, in Annecy. It's a small, it's a small town next to Switzerland, at the French border with Switzerland. Oh. Yeah. Oh, your sister is there right now. Now she is. Adele, where are you now? <laughs> She's eating. <Let> her eat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating my breakfast. <laughs> oh, what's the time there? Um, it's uh, 10 a.m. Uh oh, quite early. And where are you now, no. Adele? Yeah, I'm in Paris. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> just, just chilling, is it? Or just for chilling. Yeah, yeah, I'm chilling. I mean, it's a uh, it's Saturday, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's do a little. First of all, let me share my screen again to just finish very quickly the slides. Okay, um, any questions before we go through the, the exam? No question? Uh, no questions. All right, so it's exam time. I will ask all of you to go on to Kahoot and I will share the code in five seconds, if my laptop allows it. <laughs> it's very slow. <laughs> All right, let's do it. A 
Adele, you are not allowed to play the game. Tu n'as pas le droit de jouer au jeu, ok Non, 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 tu n'as pas le droit. <rire> non, c'est pas cool sinon. Ok. Oui, bisous. Ok, guys, anyone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think we are approximately 12 to 13, so we'll just wait a little bit more. Anyone else? Pico. Okay, let's wait for maybe two others. Two more minutes and we can start. For you no problem kevin yay citrouille interesting name i like it it's pumpkin in french very cute we can wait for maybe abdul and one more and we can start maybe we can try another music Uh, some reggae let's put some reggae okay we wait for abdul and then we start <laughs> maybe maybe it's adele adele it's you citrouille no <laughs> no because i just call her to absolutely to tell her not to play otherwise it's not fun yeah Okay. <laughs> okay, let's wait for Abdul. Maybe be more. Okay, one more minute. Abdul, uh, are you coming or are you already in? Let's see. Call me Malik. I think that. All right. Okay, guys. Let's go. Make me proud. Okay. Let's start. You all know how to play Kahoot, right? France is located in Northern Europe, Southern Europe, Western Europe, Eastern Europe. Western Europe, wow. Three person made a mistake. I don't want to know who that is. <laughs> and that's, wow, Chia taking the lead. Excellent. What did you learn today? How to nail an interview in French? How to present myself in French? What to see in Paris or all the above? 
Very good. Yes, that was a bit of a tricky question. Some, it was a trap. Let's see who has the board. Oh, Emery taking the lead and caving not so, so far. What else? Okay. Third question, select a sentence with a feminine word. Excellent. Almost everyone got it. I'm very happy. Good job, Emery. Yes. French is a language for the international job market. Ooh. Okay, okay. It's very tight. True or false? English and French share the same alphabets. <laughs> Guys, come on. It's true. I said it during uh, when, when I showed the similarity and differences. Oh, Chia coming back up. Malik is going up also. Let's see. We are halfway, guys. What does Bonsoir mean? I hope you took some notes and phrases to avoid. Good job. All right, all right. What does enchanté mean? Nice to meet you. Let's see. Oh, it's very tight, guys. Select the sentence written in a formal manner. This one is pretty straightforward. Excellent. Oh, interesting. All right. How is written 71 in French? Very, very good. Very, very good. How is written 84 in French? Very good, guys. Ooh, Emery coming back up. How to say go straight, then right, then left. Very good. I don't know who is Citrui, but Citrui is uh, coming back up. Be careful. Why should you not use visit when saying in French, I'm going to visit a friend? Wow. 
All right, and the final podium is third place, Citrouille, whoever you are, congratulations. Chia, second, and Emery, congratulations. <laughs> and Pang and Wee Wee. Very good job, guys. This. Very good. I'm very proud of you. Almost everybody got it right most of the time. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of this um, workshop. I hope you liked it and I hope you've learned the basis of uh, French as well as some tools and expression to nail an interview as well as a meeting in friendship that comes uh, that comes in your way. I hope you liked it. Sorry, give me one minute, you can continue. <laughs> oh, I'm done actually. But très bien, très bien, guys, très bien. Okay, uh, is it possible that everyone can uh, open their camera so we can take a photo? Yes, yes, that's an excellent idea. Uh, also, guys, if you want the slides, uh, I'll just give you my number here and I can send it to you. Thank you, Chia. All right, put your camera on, whoever can, so we can take a little picture for the sake of memory. Hi, Iman, nice to meet you. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Ernesto, maybe you can put your camera on. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Abdul, or Malik, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Emery, can you put the camera on? If not, it's okay. We can just take a picture like this. All right. Cheers. <laughs> there is an insider on the top left. I don't know who that is. Ah, ah. Hello, you, uh, you can pause. I'll just take a screenshot. I can pause. Okay, thing. you guys can pause now. <laughs> okay, I'll just give a countdown. Uh, three, two, one, pause. One more informal. <laughs> Three, two, one, pause. Okay, then, then. Thank you so much. Thank you, right, guys. Thank you so much for taking your time during a Saturday. I really appreciate it. So please have fun today. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to scan the QR code before leaving. Yes, so thank you so much, Elo Eloise. Is it Eloise or Eloise? Eloise. I was confused. Okay, thank you so much, Eloise, for your time. It was really nice to have you.